Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, I want to get you started with JavaFX in a very quick and cool way using a new plugin. So first of all, we're going to get an FXML example. So we have here a basic FXML application, but we also have a FXML login demo. And this will give us an FXML file. Among other things, as you can see here in the demo, we have here login FXML and profile FXML. And these we could open in the scene builder externally to NetBeans. If you go to the options window, you can go to Java. You can see JavaFX. And here you can register the scene builder. However, what you can also do is you can go to tools and plugins and go to available plugins and search for JavaFX. So um, you see here Monet Scene Builder Designer. Um, that's by Sven Reimers. That's very much a work in progress. But a newer one by someone completely different, Gaurav Gupta, is what I'd like to recommend to you. JFX Fluidon. Install this. Click Next. Accept. Click Install. The plugin is installed. Click Continue, click Finish, click Close. And now the same files that we just had open in, in a source editor, you can right click as you can see here. And what you see here is JFX Fluid on Designer. Okay, on these FXML files. Nowhere else, just on these FXML files. When you open one of these, you see amazingly inside of NetBeans IDE the entire scene builder and it works. Click on items, for example here I'm on a text field and you can see that the inspector updates depending on what I'm clicking on. And you can, you can see here the document structure. So these are the components that are available within the currently um, available FXML frame. You can also see that the context is very, very useful here as well. You can see at the top here, there are these breadcrumbs and you can move um, into and out of the FXML frame that you see here. In addition, you can also see that there are containers here and there are controls and there's menus and these you can pick up here and drag and drop onto the um, frame. So there's not much space here, but let's try and add something in here. Um, so for example, a control, let's take a button, you can drag it. You can see that as we drag, you can see the button shadow in the background. So you can see what's going on and you can drop it. And now the button is added to the, uh, to the frame. So um, if you want to use FXML, no better way to do this than to do it via the Fluidon plugin. Um, once you've made a change and saved it, you can go into, into the source code, if you like, and you can see the button and whatever it is that you've um, added um, in the uh, source editor. And then you can connect it to the FXML file and your controllers together. Give it a try. If you are a user of JavaFX or getting familiar with it, the Fluidon plugin is the one that you should be installing. Once you've got it, you have a very quick path to creating very cool looking JavaFX frontends. Thanks and have fun with JavaFX and NetBeans.